Anyway, Tracy, all I want to say to you, love, is I'm cuckoo about you. You're the only one for me, and I love you to the moon and back. All right? God, Colin, do you listen to me at all? What do you mean? It's just, it's all just talk with you, Colin. You love me to the moon and back. She won't go across the road and back. Gus goes, I only want to be with you, Trace. <laughs> but it's stifling, Colm. Every time I look over at you, you're clung up next to me, staring out the window with that weird look on your face. That's just my resting face, Trace. Do you ever worry the world is just passing you by, Colm? You're going nowhere, love. Trace, I'm not being smart now, right? But you're not exactly all action yourself, either, like. At least I look ahead, Colm. You're looking backwards all the time. And what are you saying, so? I think we should see other people. Sure, seeing other people around the clock, Tracy. I'm looking at about three or four other people there now at the moment. You know what I mean. That's it, so. I'm back in the shop window. I'm sorry. And after I buy you that lovely dress and all, I call. And everyone's saying you're like a lovely, wibbly wobbly wonder in it. Call, don't. Just pack up my things, so, is it? Sure, call them, you've no things. All you have to your name is that stripy t shirt and those orange shorts. Can I even stand here, clung up next to you, and stare out the window for a bit? Before I go? For all time's sake? I suppose so. Anyway, Trace, look, all I want to say to you is I'm cuckoo about you. You're the only one for me, and I love you to the moon and back, babe. Alright? <sighs>